Um, hello, everybody. So let's do a recap of the lesson. I'm on page 500. Okay. And we're talking about piecewise graphs. Let me turn the page before that. And you'll see here's a piecewise graph. So it really takes, in a sense, this graph, three different lines to make the whole thing. So you fill a bathtub, and then you sit in it for a while, and then you drain the bathtub. But it takes three different graphs to make it. That's why we call it a piecewise graph, because it takes pieces to make that. So then we had a situation in our notes. We talked on page 500 about a pizza place. So this pizza place has a lunch crowd, and then it has a slow time in the afternoon, and then it has a dinner crowd. So it turns out that we will sell 30 pizzas an hour in the lunch crowd. So the first hour we sell 30, another 30, another 30. And by the time it's up to 3 o'clock, we've gone three hours and we're done selling pizzas. And then we hit the slow time. People are done with lunch. From 3 to 5, we only sell 10 pizzas per hour. So we're still selling pizzas, but not at such a good rate. But then the dinner crowd kicks in and we're selling 40 pizzas each. So all of a sudden, our, we increase by 40. So if we graph all of those, here's our first um, lunch crowd, and then our slow dead time between lunch and dinner, and we get our dinner crowd, okay? So then what we get is three different lines. We want to talk about graphing all three of those lines. They're different lines, so it's all three pieces. That's why we call it piecewise function. So then we talk about the domain. So the domain is really 0 to 12 hours, which is the same thing kind of as 11 o'clock all the way until, um, it must be all the way until 11 p.m. So it is 12 hours. We have to be careful because graph talks about the number of hours. Okay, so we're going to talk about that number of hours, not time. So our lunch crowd goes for three hours, from 0 to 3, and then at 3 o'clock, it becomes the afternoon crowd, okay? Slow. So at 3 o'clock, we don't include 3 o'clock as the lunch crowd, but at 3 o'clock, we start the afternoon crowd, or the lunch is over. At 6 o'clock, we start the dinner crowd from 6 to 12 hours, okay? So then we needed the equations of all three of these. So if I take a look at my first line, here it is, it has a slope of up 30 over 1, because we know we sell 30 pizzas a piece. And we know it's y-intercept is 0. The next one's a little bit harder to find the y-intercept. I know that the slope is 10. I've got my 10x. And then the way I got the 60, it would have crossed at 60, but I would have had to draw on the graph to find 60. Or I could use my y equals mx plus b, and I could solve for b. And I picked a point. I plugged my point in to y equals mx plus b. I picked a point on the graph. 4, 100, and I solved for B and got B to be um, 60. And then finally, the third line is the dinner crowd. I'm selling 40 pieces of pizza, so I know the slope is 40. Um, I don't know the B or the y-intercept because it would be cut off. It's way down here. So again, I used my y equals mx plus B. I picked a point, plugged my point into my graph, picked my point, plugged my point into the graph, and I got negative 120, which is technically not correct, but it doesn't matter if that is the y-intercept, we just don't count that piece. So finally, we put it all together as a piecewise graph. f, x, and y are the same thing. I don't need to write y. Don't need to write y because f, x, and y are the same thing. So this is y equals, f, x equals 30x. That's my first equation. y equals 10x plus 60, or y equals 40x minus 120. f, x, not y. Now, we have to say that this first graph, which is the lunch crowd goes from 0 to 3 hours. The second graph, which is the afternoon crowd, goes from 3 to 6 hours. And finally, the evening crowd or dinner crowd goes from 6 to 12 hours. Okay? So then I turn the page and we answer some questions. Okay? So now, um, we, the y-intercept was easy for the first graph because we could see it. We know it went through the origin. But the other graphs, we had to use my y equals mx plus b. Now, 300th pizza. Well, 300th pizza would be in the third graph. So I use the, my 300th pizza would be in the third graph. So I use the third graph to solve for it. So the third equation, 
I put the third equation, 40x minus 120, I said it equal 300, and I solved. I got 10.5. Okay, now remember, we started at 1130. So that would be an hour before, so it would be 9.30 p.m., 0.5, okay? And then 150th pizza, well, again, 150th pizza would be probably, again, graph 3. So I use graph 3. I use that equation to solve for it, and I got 6.75. 0 0.75 is 3 fourths of an hour, which is 45 minutes. And again, we're one hour later because we start at 11 o'clock, so I got 5.45. And then finally, 70th pizza, well, 70th pizza would have to be here in graph 1, so I use graph 1 equation. And I took graph 1 equation, 30x, and said equal to 70. When I, I got 2.3, now 0.3 is really like one third of an hour, and one third of an hour is 20 minutes. Um, two hours into the day is one o'clock. Two hours into the day, because I started at 11, is one o'clock. So 1.20 p.m., I'd sell the 70th pizza. Okay, that's what I had. And then the homework was a worksheet, so um, come see me if you get confused.